All right, guys, it's Max and JP back again for another sneaker unboxing. And today we're gonna talk about two shoes that we, we picked up recently. And um, JP, so I never a uh, Adidas guy. I'm always a Nike guy. I didn't start buying Adidas until Kanye moved to the Adidas. So what about you? For me, I'm always a fan of the Adidas Superstar and right. Samba. And I've also ran in a couple Adidas running performance shoes. Right, right, right. So anyway, today we're going the two shoes will be mainly Adidas. One is the blush 500 that just came out a couple weeks ago and um so this shoe it was a really easy cop i woke up at like around like you know like 7 30 and it took me like you know a couple minutes i can add my size and i was able to check it out it was a really easy process to cop i think this shoe has a lot of details and texture to it so jp why don't you give every, everybody a little run rundown of the shoe sure max so on the shoe we have suede on the Toe cap. toe cap as well as on the eyelets uh -huh. of the shoe we also have leather along the sides of the upper on the medial side and on the lateral side and also we have mesh along both sides of the upper right so JP the bottom of the shoe looks very familiar where does Kanye gets the inspiration from good eye Max so the bottom outsole was inspired by the KB83, Kobe's third signature model with right. Adidas. So that's when, before Kobe joined Nike and he was still playing with Shaq, right? That era, when that's, he was young. That's right. And one of the first things that I noticed about this shoe was that it is the first Yeezy that I've seen without boost technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, the shoe has a lot of details, but we just personally, I don't think we're going to wear it. Not we're just feeling gonna, it. So this will be on Go or StockX. So if you guys want it, go to them. talking about is actually a performance shoe the Damien Lillard 4 was Bape collab that dropped on the all-star weekend and today we went a little hype beast you know we're wearing the Bape classic camel print the shark and um this guy you know Bape University was a camel print pocket you know we went a little hype beast today so anyway so on the all-star weekend both Nike and Adidas dropped a lot of heat so and, many shoes a lot of both shoes lifestyle and performance right 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 so one of the release releases that everybody was looking forward to was the black cement 3 and this guy actually did a team early he bought it on StockX, and um he flexed at the mall so anyway there's also what else what else was dropped jp the adidas boost you wear basketball shoe here we go and also the free throw line black, white cement 3 was clear sole you know what the else? energy air jordan ones black gold and white yeah the patent leather pair so oh and don't forget the kobe pro tros here we go the undefeated the next episode we'll be talking about will be the kobe pro tro so stay tuned guys all right let's get into today's topic the damien Lillard four why don't you give everybody a little detailed look of the shoe sure max so adidas put in a lot of detail that's reflective of the bape brand so this shoe was released in three colorways two for the general pub right. public release so a green camo and a black camo right and a special red for friends and family camo, yeah was available for purchase for adidas friends and family so right. the uppers constructed of mesh on top of a gum outsole which uh -huh. features bounce technology which go. is different from the hardened volume twos which feature a full length ultra boost midsole okay. if you were to compare the two from a performance perspective the hardened volume twos because they have ultra boost so they're a little bit softer but responsive but if you're looking for something that's even more responsive maybe if you you're used to hooping in kobe's right. this would be probably more similar 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 feel okay yeah, yeah. Uh, the uppers also where it meets the shoelaces made out of a mesh I think there's a lot of detail that you know to showcase babes. Tell everybody if people don't know what WGM is, JP. Right. So the details that reflect the Bape brand, you have WGM, 
on the ankle collar, which stands for wolf gone mad. On the opposite side, on the medial side of the ankle collar, you have the tiger. tiger. On the midsole, you have the shark teeth. teeth. Here we go. And the on top of the toe on the medial side, uh -huh. you have the shark eye. Um, another thing that's very unique and very reflective of Damian Lillard as a player, on the back of the heel, you have this acronym YKWTII, which stands for You Know What Time It Is. Here we go. That's a neat touch. Yeah. That's a neat touch. Because, you know, Damian Lillard's one of those clutch, clutch players. Clutch player, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and what about if you put two shoes together, you know, these two eyes, they actually meet. <laughs> so, if you guys can see, you know, like JP talk about it, you know, it, it's a good performance shoe. It offers some different feel. It depends on how the way you like the shoe performs. So, um, are you going to rocking these when you play ball, when you hoop? Well, right now I'm hooping in Harden Volume 2. So, for now, these will stay as, you know, lifestyle shoe for now. Okay. When my, my Hardens wear out, which actually I noticed these have better traction than the Hardens. Oh, okay. So, okay. if you're a shifty player... Uh, right. You might want to consider these. Uh, right, right, right. We hoop outdoor most of the time. Yeah. So yeah. the hardens yeah. aren't that great for, for outdoor. outdoor courts. Okay. Yeah, but. All right, guys, we just finished reviewing the latest pickups. Yeah. I'm about to get ready to un DS these bad boys. If you had a chance to pick these up, let us know what you think of them in the comments. Also, uh -huh. let us know if you're interested in having us do any performance reviews or comparisons between shoes. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel like the video any comments just leave it down below and we'll see you guys on the next sneaker unboxing peace